So my thoughts on not just the Pixel 8 series, but all of the Pixels that have been since Pixel 6 is that there is the gap between the regular, the normal phone, the regular Pixel phone, and then the Pixel Pro phone. And every year I've just always said that that gap between those two phones is not very large at all. Um, but what I will say about the Pixel 8 series, they are attempting to widen the gap, but I still feel like even with that wider gap between the two models, there is not enough difference in between there to actually justify the Pro phone. I'm still sticking to that. Um, Pixel 8, I've had it for a little bit, my thoughts on it. It's still a really good phone. It has awesome camera quality, awesome video quality, the phone itself, the UI, it comes out of the box with Android 14 installed and that's just, it's not a big update from the previous Android 13, but it's refresh updates that it makes everything a little better, a little cleaner, a little nicer. And it's just, it's super nice. Um, I, would, I said before when I opened this that I was a fan of the color, but obviously right now I have a D-Brand skin on it. Shout out to D-Brand and The Verge for this cool collaboration. But overall, the build of the phone is very nice. It's a little, it's smaller in the hand compared to the previous phone, the Pixel 7. I personally like that because I think it makes it a little easier, especially with the bigger screens on phones these days, to navigate throughout the whole thing. Because, um... This might not apply to everybody, but in my job, I work for a wireless internet provider. So I spend a lot of time on roofs with my hands full of either antennas or tools or whatever. And a lot of the stuff that we program for our antennas, we do it through like our phones. And I've just, it's smaller phones is easier, especially if you have something in one hand and you're trying to do something else one handed whilst standing on top of a roof whilst not trying to drop everything onto the ground and watch it break so that's that's a little like it's a little niche it's like Tanner, not everybody does that i get that i'm just kind of sharing with you some of my thoughts on it personally um what i will say before when i was making this video i thought that i was actually going to make the argument for the pro phone because out of the gate, um, I don't know if anybody else's Pixel was like this, but mine did not have the audio magic eraser that they were um, talking about at the event. It didn't have a bunch of the AI tool, the new AI tools that were advertised at the event. And maybe that was um, device wide. Maybe it was something they rolled out eventually. But I was under the impression that it's something you'd be able to do out of the box. So at first I was like, oh, maybe there is a argument to be made for the bigger phone. But I just, I checked this morning, um, which it could have been sooner that it happened. I don't know. I've been busy this weekend. I had drills, so I wasn't around. Um, but I could do it now on this phone and it's, it's okay. Um, I don't, it's not like leaps and bounds, like fix it and post type deal. Um, I think my taste personally it's a little grainy compared to what noise you take out um like I tried to record originally this the vi the idea for this video was going to be completely different than what it has become but I recorded a video of me talking to the phone in my work van on my way to work one morning and it was just kind of loud and noisy it's a van full of tools and I live on an extremely bumpy road so I thought this would be cool and then we can test it and even after it is it's still a little like still a little like tingy echoey even so um yeah i mean it's it's cool that you can do it and, uh, magic eraser photo editor all that stuff is in here all the features that you could do in previous from the previous pixel in google photos is now on the was came on the google pixel 8 and all the new stuff that they announced is now on the pixel 8 as well so that's cool um what are the differences between the regular Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro. 
what is the difference in between that um three hundred dollar yeah three hundred four two hundred what's the difference in that range of prices from the the pick the regular eight to the pro that makes up yeah it is a three hundred different three hundred dollar difference um well a there's one less camera in the pixel eight the pixel eight pro I believe it has a telephoto zoom camera that this does not have. Not a big deal. I feel like most normal people that well, that are buying phones like this aren't really going to need that stuff. Like the camera that comes on here is is perfect for what people are going to use it for. I have this conversation with my wife all the time about the difference in phones. And every time there's a new phone there's a new phone that comes out. I, I offer like I offer to get her one too. Like when I bought my new ones, I was like, hey, let me get you a new one. She's like, I don't want a new one. And then I was just like, why don't you want a new one? And she's like, the one I have is perfectly fine for what I need it for. And then you know what? That's good for her. She uses an iPhone 11. But that's kind of driving my point home that most people that just, they're not like into the specs, into the technicality of it. They don't care about all that stuff. Um, I said it before my last Pixel 8 video that Pixel itself is kind of for the nerds. It's kind of for the people that like are very technical, like to get in and tweak things and do a bunch of stuff. It's kind of like, it's the Android phone from Android themselves. So that's kind of the, that's kind of one of the things that I'm looking at in this whole debate that I'm constantly having with myself when it comes to pixel about whether it's worth having the pro um other things different about the pro i guess finish you could say is different um the back glass on the pixel 8 pro is a matte finish and then the rails are shiny kind of like how the iphone pros used to be and whereas this one it's the shiny slippery glass back and the matte finished rails um i'm not a big deal i don't really think that's a big deal because personally i skin everything and then most people put cases on phones so that stuff is nice, but most people aren't going to see it. Um, Google Google Pixel 8 Pro, it has a thermometer on it that you can use for literally everything but yourself. It can't technically like read the temperature of a person. Um, I mean, you could set it up. Like you can pick different stuff in the settings, and you can set it up. Like I'm uh, I'm boiling water, and try that, but probably not going to give you the best um the best results um can't say that it will or not i haven't tried it but i do know that that's another thing that is different about the pro phone and then it's just it's bigger typical pro phone things but like i said like i feel like here's what i feel like so if y'all can remember before the pixel 6 like Google only made like one version of the Pixel. And if you remember from past, um, I feel like before our newer Pixels, six and newer, the last good Pixel phone they had was the Pixel 3. I had that phone, I loved that phone. If you scroll back to the beginning of the channel, I made a couple of videos on that phone. I thought that was an amazing phone. Pixel 4, kind of a flop. Um, Pixel 5, I feel like it's a mixed bag. I personally, I liked what Pixel 5 was supposed to be, but every time I tried to use it, it was just terrible. And then Pixel 6 was good. Pixel 7 was great. This one I'm hoping is really great. Um, the downfall of the last two Pixel phones, sadly enough, is a Tensor is the Google Tensor chip. It's just, it just does not age well from my experience with the last two phones with, hopefully I don't have that experience with this one out of the box. I'm liking what I'm seeing. The face recognition is super fast. Like I'll even literally just look, see my face and it, boom, it opens. So, um, I like that. It's a lot better than on my Pixel 7 that I had. The fingerprint sensor, it's great when I get the chance to use it half the time I open the phone and it just sees my face and bloop, you're in. Um, but I mean, I told you guys in my last video about the Pixel 7, my fingerprint scanner on that phone just 
didn't work anymore. It's just, it was bad. I tried to register my fingerprint, and it's just like, nope, can't do it. Sorry, sucks to suck. So, um, overall, I'm going to say what I've always said about the Pixel. I like the Pixel phones. I think the regular version of the Pixel is a really great phone. And that's not saying you shouldn't go by the Pro phone. If you want to, the Pro version of the Pixel, if you want to be able to do everything that the Pixel 8 Pro does, go by the Pixel 8 Pro. I'm not telling you you shouldn't. But from my stance on just using the Pro, using the different phones, I don't think it's necessary. It's not, the gap between the two Pros is not the same as the gap between, say, the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Pro or the gap between like the S23 or the S23 Ultra those the gap between the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro is not the same they're not like they don't lock off as many features between the two models as those other two examples do so the point of my spiel is that I am going to remain in the camp of when it comes to that you don't need the Pro when it comes to the Pixel. But I think, um, I, I know, I think that Google is starting to notice that and they're slowly trying to widen the gap between the two phones. And so maybe come next year with the next version of it, maybe it will be a wider gap. Maybe there will be those jumps and leaps and bounds in the technology that it's worth making the jump. But as of right now, in 2023, I am gonna, I'm gonna stay on my, I'm gonna stay on my little horse that you do not need the Google Pixel 8 Pro. And that if you buy a Google Pixel 8, you're going to be perfectly happy and satisfied with your purchase. But that's basically it. My thoughts on using the Google Pixel 8 throughout the last couple weeks. Um, if you guys have any thoughts that you want to talk about Pixel 8 or Pixel in general, leave them down below. The last couple of Pixel videos I've made, y'all have had some really good um, things you said in the comments that I like to see, so keep that coming. And that's basically all I have to say. I hope you're all staying safe out there, and I will see you guys in the next episode.